Did you know that your emotions can manifest in physical pain in your body? If you're new here, hi, I'm Emma. I have been diagnosed with anxiety, depression, BPD, childhood PTSD, and I'm thinking we're we're think I I don't think I'm bipolar, but I'm showing small signs of bipolar. I'm also raw dogging it. I'm unmedicated. I mean, I'm not like unmedicated, obviously, but like I don't take any pharmaceuticals and I'm not knocking them. I think that they probably work well. I also think that I would never say that I would never do those things. Um, just right now, it's not in my journey. I'm finding other routes. Um, but the thing that I've recently been diagnosed with is fibromyalgia and... Um, I think I have celiac. I have the variants for celiac and I have the symptoms for celiac. So there's a lot going on. And I never was like, I don't want all these diagnoses. That's why I'm not taking medication for them. Not that's not why, but I'm saying like I didn't seek these things out. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, well, my doctor's like, okay, Emma, listen. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I was having a of pain in my body and it wasn't happening all the time on my joints I have some joint discomfort some joint pain um I'm hypermobile so I think just wear and tear is normal okay but I was having these deep 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 pains and I've had them when I was a kid and it's more like a skin pain or like a ache inner ache inside of me um, and it was extremely painful and it made things feel very uh, hard to do. Just getting up and doing my dishes was like a hard task. Now, this wasn't happening all the time. It was happening in like flare-ups is what I was calling it, you know, because it's like I wasn't feeling it and then I was feeling it really, really bad and I was unmotivated and I was like, I want to die. Like, I don't really want to die. I wouldn't, I'm not going to hurt myself, I promise. I love my children and I love my life, but sometimes when you're feeling so much physical pain you just want to end it all you have no motivation to do anything you feel so overwhelmed with your life and like everything that's going on and like you don't know what to do anyway I'm feeling a lot better I promise I feel no pain but I went to the doctor and I talked about all the things that were happening and I didn't know why I was feeling so much pain and discomfort and why I felt so hopeless and yeah so fibromyalgia is also something that um, causes anxiety and depression, but it also can be caused by anxiety and depression. Fibromyalgia does not have any like true like true like testing. It's like almost like ruling things out and looking at your life and how things how this pain comes up and when you're having in different spots of your body. So like for instance, a lot of times it's my legs, sometimes it can be my arms, sometimes it can be my low back, sometimes it can be my head. Anyway, the pain is real. It is there. So anyone that's like, oh, if it's just anxiety and depression, it's just in your head, you're not actually in pain. It's so painful. <laughs> But I just learned that, like, you know, even someone like me who has done a lot of work on healing, I've done a lot of, a lot of work. But it takes so much work for the rest of your life. And triggers happen when you're not even thinking about it. You're like, now I have to go back through my past few days, past week or two, and look at my life and figure out what triggered it um because that's how I'm working on things is rewiring my thought processes and writing things down and meditating and doing yoga even whenever my body hurts and I'm doing the cold therapy and I'm doing the sauna and I'm just doing all the things and I'm focusing on my food so Oh, and I am taking some herbs. I'm taking, um, I'm just telling you guys. I don't, I only take iron when I'm on my period. And then I take a fish oil for my joints. Um, I take, oh, I take a B12 now. I take a high dosage of B12 and I put it under my tongue and then let it dissolve. And uh, if you feel depressed or sad, 
I'm not saying to prescribe anything to you, but B12 is, that helps a lot. It helps a lot. Anyway, um, I take ashwagandha sometimes if I really feel like I need it, but I don't take it like, every day. Mm, oh, and I take turmeric. It's like an anti-inflammatory um, vitamin. So it's just like turmeric, black pepper. I could show you if you wanted to, but yeah, I mostly drink a lot of herbs, I, and so I'm and I, I do partake in cannabis. I am a medical patient, so I get to do that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so I hope that anyone that have those symptoms might fall upon this video or someone that finds this relatable because I didn't realize how your like I know that emotion I, I was taught this in school that emotions hide in your muscle right but when I say this was like not muscle pain this was like a deep I don't even know like I thought it was arthritis pain and I have a small amount of arthritis but it's not as severe as what I've been thinking this whole time because it's been something else so that's like good news and bad news like it's not all in my head but it's, it's my brain and that's gonna be that's <laughs> anyways this is your reminder to journal and do some yoga I hope you guys have a good day <laughs>